Welcome to this um, walkthrough of the um, two interactive infographics that we've developed for State of Natural Resources Report 2020. Our aim in developing the infographics um, was firstly to uh, provide summaries of what we found and secondly to create an accessible way of interacting with the report itself. And hopefully, um, as we explore them together now, you'll um, want to want to come and uh, click around and um, find out for yourself. So if we jump into our website, so on um, Sonar 2020 page, if we to find the infographics, it's under our assessment. And if we click on our assessment and then go right to the bottom, natural resource registers um, tile and in there we'll find um, the two infographics that we'll be talking about today so if we start with um, the first uh, infographic here so that is the key pressures and impacts infographic on the right is a list of key pressures on the natural resources of wales um, on the left, you can see the broad ecosystem is listed. And around the diagram are the drivers of change. So that's climate change, invasive non-native species, pests and diseases, land use change, overexploitation and pollution. And these cause the key pressures on the natural resources of Wales. If we choose one of the key pressures from the list, such as um, competing land use and we click and hold that will that will hold that infographic in in place whereas you can hover over it and it will change but if you click it then it will um, allow you to explore the infographic so we can see that competing land use uh, impacts the three highlighted broad ecosystems and that is enclosed farmland semi-natural grassland and woodlands. In all three cases, the impacts are driven by land use change. The highlighted segments, these blue segments, um, mean that there's further information to read. So if we click one of them, uh, if the enclosed farmlands, then a, um, a pop-up box will appear. And in the pop-up box, further information is shown which is a list of impacts caused by the selected key pressure in this case of competing land use um, on the enclosed farmland ecosystem we can see that there are two impacts listed and each impact comes with a confidence assessment So again, if we if we click on um, the woodlands um, segment, uh, the pop up box appears again, but we can see that there are three impacts on the woodlands ecosystem. So if we go back to the main page and explore the opportunities for action infographic. Then much like the key pressures and impacts infographic. On the right is uh, a list of opportunities for action to help Wales towards achieving the sustainable management of natural resources. And around the diagram are the broad ecosystems. Again, the um, information on the right comes from the ecosystem and cross-cutting theme chapters. And each circle represents one of the aims of SMNR. So aim one is the outside, aim two is inner, and aim three and aim four are at the center. Um, it's important to note that each opportunity for action on the right um, could help achieve more than one of the aims of SMNR. And the corresponding action could be taken in more than one ecosystem. 
So if we um, choose one opportunity for action from the list, such as um, habitat creation, we can see that there are opportunities for habitat creation to occur in the four highlighted broad ecosystems. So that is uh, urban, woodlands, enclosed farmland and fresh water. The action of habitat creation in woodlands, let's say, um, would help towards achieving all four aims. So we can see that they're all highlighted. Whereas in the enclosed farmland, we can see that the action of habitat creation um, helps towards aim two. Again, like the other infographic, if a segment is highlighted with color, then there is more information to read. So if we click on one of um, them, so let's again, the enclosed farmlands, we can see that the pop-up box appears, which brings up uh, more detail for each opportunity for action in response to the specific aim and within the chosen ecosystem. So what is the benefit of these infographics and why did we make them well. Um, the benefit of the infographics is that they allow us to see all the information that we've gathered at the same time. So we are working to create different ways into the data uh, and these allowed us to, to do just that. So instead of just having loads of tables, we've decided to create these kind of interactive um, infographics so that you can explore it at different levels. So you can remain quite uh, broad, so you can stay and just explore by hovering, or you can actually click in and see and integrate, interrogate the detail. So our hope is that the infographics will help us all remember that our ecosystems are interconnected and that thinking holistically and seeing the connections is key um, when it comes to tackling the climate and nature emergencies and, and to help us achieve the four aims of SMNR. So I hope that was uh, a, a helpful quick walkthrough of, um, of the infographics. And if you've got any questions, then please uh, contact the Sonar team. Um, yeah, thank you for listening and get clicking and um, explore the infographics for yourself.